Do you know how the Civil War began? The Civil War began when Abraham Lincoln put the law of free for the slave and the South didn't know, not want to follow that law because Southerners knew that the economy would go down. Economic chaos is the chaos that Civil War is the release of the slave and if they do not have a slave, the Southerners could not produce much tobacco and cotton and the money of the country will fall. A social cause that provoked the civil war was the election in the act that Abraham Lincoln put to stop the slavery because he thinks that the slavery is a terrible thing and that needs to stop. Before the civil war began, there were seven battles that had to win either the south or the north of the United States that are the following. The first battle of Burwan, also known as Battle of First Manassas, was fought in July 21, 1861. The commandant was Erwin McDowell versus Joseph E. Johnston in Prince William County, Virginia, just north of the city of Manassas and about 25 miles west-southwest of Washington, D.C. The South win this first battle. The Peninsula Campaign of the American Civil War was a major unit operation loud in Southern Virginia from March down July in 18. Maxillan was the commandant of the Union, the Battle of Argentum, also known as the Battle of Sharpsburg, particularly in the South, was fought on September 17, 1862. Shapsburg, Maryland, and Attentam Creek as a part of the Maryland campaign. The Battle of Shiloh was one of the bloodiest engagements of the Civil War. Although the Union emerged the victory, both sides suffered, having lost in 1862. The Battle of Chancellorsville was a major battle of the American Civil War and the principal engagement of the Chancellorsville campaign. This war was at Spotsylvania County in April 30, 1863 to May 6, 1863. The Battle of Atlanta was a battle of the Atlanta campaign fought during the American Civil War of July 22, 1864, just southeast of Atlanta, Georgia. The Battle of Gettysburg was fought July 1 to 3, 1863, in and around the town of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, by Union and Confederate forces during the American Civil War. They were directed by Robert Lee versus Anderson. Two of the Union had armies that lent the people of the North to win the battles, and the leaders are the following. Abraham Lincoln was the president of the USA in the time of the Civil War. He put an act to stop the slavery. Most of the people was angry for that act and for that the Civil War became. William Sherman was a dull soldier. George McSevigan, the general, was a good organizer. He trained for seven months his army but he never attacked. In March 1862, he moved. Robert Anderson was a United States Army officer. General Ulysses Grant was the 18th president of the United States, and he became in a commanding general. Like the Southerners hoped to win the battle with the help of the Army of the South that was lent by the following people. General Lee or Robert Edward Lee was an American general known for commanding the Confederate Army of Northern Virginia in the American Civil War from 1862 until he surrendered in 1865. Stonewall Jackson was a general in the Civil War. James Ewell Brown Jeb Stewart was a United States Army officer from the USA states of Virginia in the Civil War. 
Jefferson Davis was a Mexican hero. After the main battles, the United States had some consequences that made problems with all the community. Emancipation and proclamation declaring that all persons held as slaves in the rebel zone are in several forward shall be free. April 17, Virginia separates from the Union, but there were also some people who refused. Atienta, 22,717. Storm River, 23,515. Shiloh, 23,746. Chancellor's Bio, 24,000. The Witness, 29,800. Expo Sylvania, 20,000. Policemen and white people attacked and killed many African Americans in two southern cities, Memphis and New Orleans. The indignation and this violence led Congress to press for a more strict form of re reconstruction. Jim Crow Lab, the love or separation of team between white and black people. During the Civil War, they have sophisticated armaments, but here are some guns that the Union used to win the battles. Rifle bullet, the northern and southern people made bullet more powerful. This bullet can kill with only one bullet. 861 Rifle Musket Co. 0.58 This gun was used in the Civil War for the Northern and the Southern. Revolving A pistol with revolving chambers enabling several shots to be fired without reeling. The Remington was a model of an old shotgun. The Remington was used for the war. <laughs> Let's go. Yay. Gotcha. Pew. Bullseye. Fire. Fire. Fireball. Fireball. Fire. Fire. Fireball. Fireball. Fire.